All right, Jalen, what does it mean to you to be able to continue to be playing at uh, college basketball? I know you guys would have rather been in the, the NCAA tournament, but talk about this opportunity now to advance in the NIT. Um, it always feels good to come out and compete to play basketball, um, especially at the highest level. So um, the NIT is the second um, best tournament, so I know we didn't do what we expected us to do, but I'm, I'm cool with playing in the NIT and I want to win it as well. I just don't want to play it just to play it. What was most frustrating about the way you bowed out of the Big 12 tournament uh, and that loss to BYU? Um, cause I, cause we all felt like we could have won that game. Um, we just didn't execute, so that that would probably be the most um, stressful thing. I think. Um, I think it was set up for us to win, win it all. But um, against BYU, we just ain't come out with the fire that I thought we should have came out with. With that, that you mentioned that Monday, you felt like you left stuff on the court. Is that something you could carry into Tuesday's game to kind of lift you up and have that second chance? Um, most definitely. Um, just build up all them emotions and come out and um, come out fighting. Come out fighting. Just to know that last time we stepped on this court, it didn't come out to a great ending. So just coming out, shooting our bullets and just making sure we win this game. Jalen, you haven't been around this program with having played, have, have not played USF. So now you know it's a rivalry. And I'm sure, as Darius mentioned, he, he brought it up. I mean, what do you what do you see when you see a, a team that comes down the road to face you guys here at home in the NIT? What do you think when it comes to a rivalry? Um, for me, every game every game is the same. But um, a rivalry game, I just want to since they got swept um, last year, I just want to get it from um, Darius and Silly and also the senior. You know, but every game is um, the same way with me. You know, I just want to come out and win. Um, every game is a hunting game for me. So, especially the how we just came out versus BYU. Who are who are your previous rivals at other stops? Even did you have a high school rivalry? Did Ball State have a big rival? Who were some of the big rival games that you played in? Um, I would say my my biggest one was probably um, high school. High school. Um, it was called Carl versus Spencer game. That was probably the highest one. A very competitive and chippy game. Also, what I'm expecting it to be versus USF. What stands out to you as, as you're looking at USF? What do they do really well? How do you think you match up? Um, I think how they play together. Um, I think they play together well, and also just they they play just like BYU. Um, they play kind of out of the split action, um, with back doors, stop behind screens, and all of them can shoot the ball. So we got to be ready for that. Any cause for concern considering how you guys did against BYU? Um, not at all. Not at all. As long as we go out there and execute, I feel like we'll be fine. We listen to Coach Dawkins and go out there and execute, we'll be fine. How did how did the guys, how did the players react to the news that you know you'd be in the NIT? I mean, we've seen you know some schools are opting out and deciding not to play in the NIT, and those players don't get another opportunity to play. How did you guys respond to that news that you're playing? Um, I think we responded well. Um, it's a great opportunity to come out there and perform, and also it can help everybody. You know, uh, we come out there and win, and it can help everybody. You know, what I'm saying it can help the coaches, it can help the players, um, any players that want to raise their stock size seniors as well. For them being their last season, we can leave it out with a ring. What does UCF have to do tomorrow to get out of here with a win? I know you've been talking all season long about that 40 minutes and right. how frustrated you've been about maybe the team hasn't always done that. What What do you need to see the team do, especially off the start of the game? Um, I most definitely think it's going to start with the start five, just making sure that we're coming in and executing um, our plays, executing on defense, and also making sure we do that for 40 minutes. You know, um, Just making sure we do that for 40 minutes and staying together for 40 minutes, and also making sure that we guard the three-point line. Looking back on your first season here at UCF, what do you think you proved maybe to yourself and others about what kind of player you are, you know, going through your first year in the Big 12 too? Um, I think I proved it I belong, you know, um, and I still haven't played my best basketball. Um, I'm going to keep expressing that. So I feel like I proved I belong, you know, but I got a lot of growth to do. So. What do you think the team has proved? Um, the team most definitely proved that we belong. Um, everybody know that we um, – we gave up no games. I think I think when we when we lose games, um, a lot of teams be like, we, we got about it there. Because um, my opinion, I really don't think no one want to see us. That's just my opinion. Next year would be your final year of eligibility, right? So, what more can you accomplish? What do you? What more do you want to prove? What areas of your game can get better? You know, looking ahead to what will be your final season next year. Um, just making sure that I make sure everything is tightened up, um, tightened up on my shot, my footwork, and making sure that I get better on pick and roll. Um, and also, I just want to leave with making it to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, where did you improve the most this year coming in, just working with Coach Shockers and then this staff? Where, what part of your of your game really you think took a step up? Um, I would probably say that my vocal. Um, I've never been the one that, that talks a lot. I think um, this year I talk way more than I did last year. Just just being able to try to try to be a better leader better leader as I can, but I also can grow on that standpoint as well. Are you comfortable being that? 
<coughs> um, I'm not. I, I wouldn't say that I'm comfortable, but um, being uncomfortable is a good thing. Um, I think um, a lot of people um, run from the uncomfortable, but you know, I'm just trying to embrace it every day. Um, and just making sure that I get better and better every day. I'm always. I, I would call myself a growth junkie. Every time somebody look look back at me, I want to say that that dude, he's not the same dude that he was last year. What was your favorite moment from this season? I mean, I know that the season's not over yet, but just to this point, what part of the season or what game kind of stands out to you as a, as a favorite memory? Um, my favorite memory would probably be the Kansas game. Most definitely would probably be the Kansas game. Just how, not even that we won the game, just how we started off the game. I felt like we played um, more together that game than any game. In the conference, this is my opinion. Cool, set. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Jalen. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks, guys.